What's up guys? Here's a video tutorial on changing the oil in your Porsche Macan S. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is get it up to operating temperature. Then we can go ahead and put it up on jack stands. And then I'll get underneath the hood and take off the oil cap. This will help it drain. And now we can get underneath the vehicle. Uh, it uses the T25 Torx. I end up taking off only 10 of them and kind of leave it attached still. It's just easier for me and it's worked every time I've done it. So you want to go ahead and collect those. And then we can take it down here. And uh, using an 8 millimeter hex bit and I usually just start it with a wrench and then I do the rest by hand just so I don't drop the bolt down in the oil. So also uh, make sure whatever you're going to catch the oil with um, the Porsche Macan S has like nine quarts of oil or something in it so my particular catch was I think only nine or ten quarts so it got pretty high up to the top but so I had to empty it before I even went moved on to the oil filter so just kind of be cognizant of that when you go ahead and pick one up so you're gonna to want to let this drain I don't end up putting back on this uh, until after I'm done with the oil filter and when we move on to the oil filter you're gonna need a 36 millimeter socket so it's very large, it's not a normal one you'd have in your set, but it's worth getting because you also use it to torque that oil filter housing, and those break pretty easily, so I highly recommend it. So I'll go ahead and take this off. Um, the oil filter housing will come off and the filter will kind of stay on the engine still. And now when you're taking this off, I'm going to end up kind of screwing it back on a little bit. And that's just so I can uh, control the flow of oil because there's still quite a bit of it that comes out just from the oil filter. So I just give it maybe one thread there. And then now I can take it off a little more controlled. And I'll just empty out the the housing, put it off to the side and now I can take that filter off. And there you go. And now we'll move on to uh, putting the o-ring, the new o-ring on the housing that usually comes with the oil filter when you buy it. So I'll take that off. Definitely make note of the groove, the right groove, because there's a couple of them that look like they could be the right one, but they're not and it won't seal right. So make note of that. And I'm just cleaning all the oil, oil off of here now. Uh, so when I put on the new O-ring, I can put some fresh lube on there. So I'll get that all the way on there. And then I'll go ahead and grab uh, some oil. And I'll just put a little bit on the tip of my finger and just run it over that O-ring. You want to help lubricate that because that will uh, make it seal better. <laughs> and now another thing uh, that I was told was you always want to put the oil filter with the uh, letters and numbers facing out. So the first time I did this, this why there's a little bit of oil on here now. Uh, I had it wrong. Luckily, I didn't put it on the vehicle yet. But just make sure you're putting it down in the housing and uh, some of them will call for you to just put the oil filter on the actual engine now and then put the housing over but then you're not able to do this step here where you're actually getting some oil in the filter and this just helps uh, get that system going so you don't have that couple of seconds or minute of uh, no lube coming through there and you will lose a little bit when you're putting it back on here, but make sure that you're getting it uh, in that right um, around the hole there. 
you'll feel it when it goes in because you'll be able to screw it in. And then we'll just hand tighten it. And the torque value for this is 18 foot pounds. I'm going to put all of this down in the description as well. But this is why you really need the socket because you can't obviously torque it down with a, just a normal wrench. So here I'm going to put it to 18. And then after I'm finished with that, I can move on to the oil drain bolt. And then I'll put that on. And then I'll torque that down to 22 foot pounds. And make sure you're uh, knowing the difference between foot pounds and Newton meters because they are different. And this is for foot pounds, 22. After that's done, we'll go ahead to putting oil in. So what I didn't show here in the video is the other five quart jug I already dumped in there. So I'm, you're only going to see me putting in uh, three and a half quarts. But what I usually do is I start with eight and a half quarts and then I'll drive it around for a while, check the oil and then add if needed. But eight and a half quarts usually gets me perfectly there. So now after this is finished filling, you're going to go ahead and put the cap oil cap back on. And then we're going to start the car up and just get it running. Uh, you're not going to be able to check the oil yet because it needs to warm up. So you are going to have to drive it around. Um, so this final uh, part right here, this is actually where I'm sitting in a parking lot. And it shows it um, in the green. So we're good to go. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below, and thanks for watching.